What's up guys? So glad to be back from vacation. This video may run a little longer than most. I've got a bunch of stuff that's new or new to me to review or put my first impression on, so. First to go will be obviously shave line and BD. This is a homage of CK Obsession. A bunch of collaborations on it. Out of the tub, I'd give it a three. Um, this is the Patriot base coming from Strike Gold Shave, which this is my first Strike Gold Shave soap. Basically, is Tala Goat's Milk Water Shea, shea Butter, Cocoa Butter, Potassium Hydroxide, Sodium Hydroxide, Fragrance, Castor Oil, Glycerin, Tusca Silk. Tussa Silk. Not familiar with that one. At least I don't think I am. So, love the artwork on it. However, I don't really love the tub. The artwork is phenomenal. Or the Bear Stern Man type clear tubs. I like to see my soap in my tub, but that's nitpicky. I'm not gonna count off for that on any. As long as it screws on, the cap screws on the tub. By the way, Herrera shaving bowl. The brush I'm going with tonight is the Amethyst and it's got a Timberwolf in it. It's from the Cayune workshop on Etsy. Highly recommend giving them a look. Um, it's not this brush. It's phenomenal. I love the shape. I love the pour. I love the colors. Is there a coin there? And brass. I just figured Timberwolf knot would match this. So that's what I put in it. Under $65. I mean, you're going to have a hard time finding a competitor to beat that. four dollar shipping so good luck anyway what I'll be shaving with is the Ascension flare tip series from PAA it's got the Phoenix purple tip on it today and inside that which I've never used by the way I have used this blade. I have not used that razor. Super thin. Thanks to Flash Boredom. Thank you, Flash. And by the way, the giveaway winner, I boxed it up today. It should be going out tomorrow. So, just letting y'all know that. And the aftershave splash, I'll show you guys afterward. But lathered up. Solid, solid seven for me. Glad to be back from vacation. I'm telling you, if you smoke cigarettes, you go on vacation, and you like to smoke on your balcony, make sure they allowed smoking. I've been going to the beach for 30, 30, 33 years. And not once have I heard of no smoking on your balcony. But I'll never stay there again, so it doesn't really matter. 
It didn't ruin my vacation, but it didn't help it any either. Yeah, I'm digging this scent. And the original Obsession scent notes. I couldn't find the scent notes for this, but it's not spot on. It's homage, like I said, with Obsession, which I'm guessing this has most of what I'm about to say in it. Top notes are cinnamon, lavender, coriander, mandarin, orange, lime, bergamot, grapefruit. The mid is myrrh, nutmeg, carnation, Brazilian, rose, wood, pine tree, sage, jasmine, red berries, and the base is amber, vanilla, sandalwood, musk, patchouli, and vetiver. growth yeah, I'm really digging this scent guys I had to get the splash from the razor company and the soap from Pastors that's why I normally don't shop at straight gold because they always run out of their shit and like a day or less so I don't even bother I've got shit to do besides sit there at my phone waiting to order a shave soap or set so <clears throat> that's the story on that and uh, they both came in the same day which was surprisingly cool and uh, first pass with the growth Ascension Flare Tip Series. I know Smiles for Miles has something to do with the soap. I'm just not exactly what, not sure exactly what he has to do with it. I'm sure someone could tell me out there. Shave too bland. smells magnificent I'm getting cinnamon bergamot for sure that lavender and mandarin orange is mixing together for me to my nose it's very close. This is all the obsession I have in my den. I did a mixture a while back of a bunch of throwbacks. I will be getting me a new bottle. Soon, just because of this offering I just bought so just to bring out the soap and the splash you know be 
beautiful. I love those Gillette thins, super thins from Thailand. Loving them, loving them. Hope everybody's been well, have a good shave, stay in diseases I can't say on here free. Making money, enjoying life as much as you can. I'm very worried about my grandmother. She's not doing very well. She's having heart blockage. And if everybody would just pray for me, pray for her, pray for her for me, please. Go a long ways. She's 82 years old. She pretty much raised me. So my dad died before I was born, so I really never had a blood male figure in my life. Taught myself how to shave. All that good stuff. So, uh, whatever power you believe in, just try to pray. That's all I'm saying. If you would, I'd really, really appreciate it. I need it at this time. Been trying to work on a Halloween soap with Monica over at Vanille. Unlike any Halloween soap that's ever hit the market for shaving anyway. And a simple everyday soap as well that we're trying to work on to come out before, way before Halloween, so I'm hoping she can do it around mid-September. Or earlier, it just depends on her schedule, but they're both surprises. I don't want to give anything away, keep you in suspense, it's not going to be a dupe of anything, even though the dupe of fear she made for me is banging, you need to pick it up if you don't have it. Do a head shave tomorrow. On camera, so. And to all my new subscribers, thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. You jumped on board and say it all the time.
day ones and people that jumped on when I first started. It means a lot. It really does. Especially for this niche type of channel. channel hits 200 subs I'm doing another uh, giveaway just so everybody knows I'm only uh, 45 short so once that happens I'll probably be giving away a soap set I haven't decided quite yet be something nice though I always throw in extras in my giveaways so it's a beautiful bit beautiful looking soap here my first look at the Patriot base twelves lately so when I get home I gotta go straight to bed but then I get four days off so that's the only reason I'm doing a video tonight so. but it pays a hell of a lot better than my old shitty job so it's not even really that hard it's just the hours are hard back with the grain here. And I just got a 50 cent raise and I've only been there three weeks, so. Tattooed soon. As soon as my artist opens up his schedule. As he stays packed around here. stay on his books you basically have to make an appointment every time you leave and that's still not guaranteed and we'll bump that up to a seven shrink pretty nice strength on that and the tub me it's like a three but once you get it lathered up and the, the aqua going with it, stirring it up with the brush and give that a seven. A generous seven there. For me. And that's it for me. 
for the shoe. Got the aftershave to do. The aftershave. Really shocked me when they said they're gonna. It was gonna be a uh, obsession. Homage. I was like, obsession. Look at that beautiful base. Beautiful. It's so light on the base. but at the same time, protective. Slick, slick, slick. Without being stupid slick, if you know what I mean. Rinse out this brush here so everybody can get a good look at it. Well, you seen the thumbnail, so. Don't forget about that. You've seen the thumbnail. Open this splash here for the first time. There we go. What we have in here is alcohol, water, fragrance, rose water, red clover, blossom, chameleon extract, calendula extract, witch hazel, aloe, vitamin E. got a little yellow tint to it probably from the aloe I'm not sure oh man oh man that's so nice fantastic shave Fantastic brush, soap, and splash. Can't get much better than this. And I'm just gonna, if I can get it open. session has a little more uh, grapefruit that's just my opinion then this homage to the fragrance but they killed it killed it with the base killed it with the Strength, kill it with the all of it. Razor perform great, blade perform great. After shaves out of this world. I don't have to send you guys off. with uh, stay sharp and salute. Later guys.